were in my gym, this is where I first started to physically, you know, evolve, get bigger. Yeah, this is my dad. A lot smaller than me. Yeah, as you can see. Yeah. So the gym was when they were babies. <laughs> in fact, before they were born, um, I used to go to another gym, which was Crystal Palace Gym um, at the time, and his mum, he kept having um, sort of pregnancy pangs, and I kept getting phone calls, phone calls, you know, come, and I kept rushing back from the gym to just check that she was okay. We went from um, Crystal Palace then to, uh, yeah, to Brixton Rec. Right, I um, these guys earlier. Yeah, <laughs> and then um, things started to change at Brixton Rec, so we came. We used to come in on a Sunday because I used to do Taekwondo. Oh yeah, that's, that's, that's right. how I first started coming in. When we were in Streatham and they want to get the bus, I didn't have enough money for everyone to get on the bus. So what we used to do was say, okay, we're going to get the bus, you've got to run to the first bus stop. So they have to run to the first bus stop. Ah, oh, we missed the bus, let's go to the next bus stop. Run to the bus stop again. Ah, oh, come on you guys, you got to run faster. And we used to walk all the way down and oftentimes we'd walk all the way back. We'd usually go to Brockwell Park, which would be the interim period where we could relax, chill, and we'd, we'd, we'd walk back home. So they had a lot of fitness indirectly, subconsciously from there. So when he was going through his stuff, we used to come down here um, sometimes 7 o'clock in the morning, sometimes 9 o'clock in the morning, but we'd be here early. He'd come down. He didn't always want to come, I know that, but he'd come. Um, we'd do a, a, a session, but we'd talk. We would talk so much. Sometimes we'd talk too much and we wouldn't train. <laughs> and so it's time we need to train. Ask anybody who doesn't squat. Ask anybody who does squat. The one exercise they hate doing, don't want to do, but would love to do, is squat. It was the one exercise that we would commit a lot when I say, son, now you come up to it like a heavyweight now. Dad, dad, I can do it, I can do it. There's a couple of times he couldn't do it. And we'd go back to it and he'd say, dad, you know, the only reason I do it is because I know what you're like. It clears my mind, like my head space. After I come out of the gym, I mean, even if you've got nothing to do, you feel like you've done something with your day. I mean, I've got a lot of things to keep me focused and to keep me doing what I'm doing. But the gym is, for me, is a mainstay. Like, these guys will not, I will not go on with my day if I haven't been to the gym. And I suppose when you finish, like I said, squatting 300, 400 pounds, you go out the gym. 200, 300 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, 400, being, 500 pounds. I was, I was being modest, I was being mm, 600, mm. 700, yeah. You come out of the gym and you feel like, oh, like, there's not really anything you can't do because obviously there is different types of pain, but the kind of pain that most people don't want to feel besides emotional is physical. And you feel that from the beginning to the end of your workout. And it, it put, just puts things in, into perspective. You can play little games in your head just to, I don't know. It's just a very physical representation of life. Really.